what keeps you coming back to these Pure Folk Couture events? I like the people here. It's uh, the four bouncers. The structures are good. The schedule's great. Um, yeah, things run really well overall. Uh, yeah, it's an overall enjoyable experience. That was how Eric Wasilenko described his experience on the Pure Poker Tour to Pure Poker Tour ambassador Haven Taylor. Uh, during his day one, uh, a play in the main event. This time around in series one of Pure Poker Tour 2024. Wasi, as he's affectionately known in the community, went on to win the main event for just over 73K uh, Canadian, taking down his very first uh, main event title. But as you saw in the uh, opening segment there, he uh, uh, was taking down a few more titles uh, here on the Pure Poker Tour, although they uh, haven't been main events. It's just a matter of time since he took down a main event, though, because uh, he has been final table of the last four main events here on the Pure Poker Tour. So uh, Eric Wasilenko, of course, the big story here, taking down the main event. But it was a big, uh, it was a big main event uh, series of over 400 uh, runners for this one. Uh, Jason Hiang out in second place uh, uh, after a pretty quick heads up uh, against the uh, heads up uh, specialist uh, Wasi. Uh, Dave Howard, who uh, uh, led the. Uh, uh, led the final table for a good chunk of it uh, out in third place for 33K. Uh, uh, probably a little unhappy with finishing third, but got to be happy with an extra 33K uh, in his bank account. Another interesting story from the series came in the tag team event when we uh, had a heads up between uh, two sets of identical twins. Strap Brothers versus the Graham Brothers. Uh, Strap Brothers ended up taking it down in the end, but it was a hard-fought battle that uh, went on for uh, quite a while. Thomas Taylor, second winningest poker player in the province of Alberta, took down his uh, first major win in Edmonton, um, surprisingly enough. Uh, he's won pretty much everywhere else in Canada. But this is his first big win here in Edmonton, taking down the six max uh, just a couple of days uh, after he uh, final tabled and came third in the eight max. So uh, Taylor had a pretty good uh, week. Taylor also cashed in the main event uh, later on in the week, so uh, he had a pretty decent uh, he had a pretty decent series this time around to start 2024 in the final PLO game. Up-and-coming star from British Columbia, David Dongwu Ko, part of the UBC Poker Club, took down the PLO game for $10,870. Uh, it was a pretty stacked uh, final table uh, in the end. It included Mal Hagen. Hagen had a very solid series with six caches across the 14 event series, four of which were final table finishes. Started the series off with a fifth place in the eight max game, followed that up with a sixth place in the uh, mixed NLH uh, PLO, moved on to a sixth place in the 230 Turbo Bounty, of course took down second place in the PLO game, and then bagged a vein event cash in 29th place just for good measure to uh, finish out the week. So he wasn't able to take one of the uh, trophies home this week, but uh, Hagen definitely had a good week with six caches and four final tables. Uh, David Patterson, Daniel O'Leary, Dylan Deschano who is at final tables of four-card events uh, here on the Pure Poker Tour uh, on a very regular basis. Leo Zhang, another familiar face on final tables of four-card poker here in Alberta. Justin Pinnell, who took down the NLH PLO mix game earlier in the week over Stefan Maloney, uh, also on this final table. That's pretty much a wrap for the opening series on the Pure Poker Tour 2024. The next event on Pure Poker Tour 2024 comes at Pure Casino Calgary from April 9th through the 15th. Unlike the typical Pure Poker Tour series, it does not start with a seniors event. Instead, a six max game for $670 kicks off the action on Tuesday, April 9th at 1 p.m. with 
a an NLH bounty game at 5 p.m. and a survivor game at 7 p.m. So plenty of poker action to kick off the mini series starting April 9th uh, on the Pure Poker Tour. Thank you for joining us once again for another year of uh, Pure Poker, and uh, we'll see you in April in Calgary.